the best the best way to explain it is like you should not be doing shit half ass if you know that you're not going to use school why do school no i know but that's not what i want to look uh there's a specific thing like when somebody says to somebody day trading in their first year saying oh how much money do you make but you never ask somebody in their first year of university how much money they make because you expect them not to be making anything because they're fucking studying well whereas yeah could go so it's like now when somebody says oh you should only quit school when you see the results well what's the equivalent of that like if you want to think of it the opposite way for it to not make it because it makes no sense the same so then the next the thing that i'm trying to get at is the like i want to say something that makes no sense and it's clear that it makes no sense so it just paints the picture you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's an analogy yeah like um well to answer the question i i think people the reason why they they don't ask if you're making money any in school because the degree is so called the safe way and it's kind of guaranteed a a sort of income in the future where you're yeah, trading but who's to say business, that when it's not guaranteed see no no see that's where i disagree first off oh, because if you study 10 years in school and if you study the markets for 10 years with the same effort you're making money oh no, no i'm i'm on your side i just say that's what pe- that's the way people view it as like same thing for trading or business they don't see it as guaranteed it's a riskier option so that's why when people are in school they're not going to say how much you making right now because they know that you're studying to guarantee uh in my eyes low income in the future yeah like um i was like i it might it might actually sound crazy but technically i was thinking about it technically Going to school, for us, because we don't believe in it, if you want to bring it in a religious term, is actually a sin. Because, let me explain. Because God has given you a vision. God has given you, he talks through your your visions, your minds, your thoughts. So you believe that you could do better in life. And that you could, you know become free without school but yet you're still in school that means you don't trust in him and i realize that's actually mm-hmm. a sin that because you're because you don't trust in the vision and the thoughts and the ideas that he gives you and you're not taking action on it you're actually going against his his say mm. so i actually thought about it i'm like fuck like it's it's true though like it's it's just like it's just bad i'm in school and i really want to leave because it's just like i know that even if i do the full degree even if i fucking graduate i'm not using it might as well just get a full-time job now get money to fund the business because right now in school i'm just spending it to do something that i know i'm not going to use so that's why like I, i really like thought about it lately and i've like i really want to take the leap like the idea of me just waiting to you know waiting in school while i see results is like i i don't want to do that anymore i I rather drop out and and have that mentality of i'll i'll stop everything when i start seeing results with a job that's actually at least making me some type of income oh bro like a, a full-time job at our age bro you you can actually make a decent amount of money yeah yeah you can make uh whatever but yeah no you're right it's just bro uh, the way i see it is are you recording by the way yeah um like bro everybody says um stop school when you when you see results with your business but it's like i don't i don't get it do you not trust yourself to get those results like like if that's the case then maybe your business idea is not really for you like there's a lot of people that like things they just they're not good enough like let's say i like hockey i'm not good enough to be an nhl player it's like be realistic find something else so it's like these people that say oh no maybe you should just wait until yeah for them yeah sure for you 
their opinions have no impact. They, they're they absolutely useless. It's as if, because I'm a day trader, so somebody would come up to me and say, oh, uh, yeah, how much money did you make last month? And I'll say, let's say a random number, $2,000. Then you say, oh, how much money did you make the month before? I made the 8000 the month before. And then they'll maybe say something like, oh, maybe you should do this. It will help you and whatever. It's as if they think that their opinion is worth something when they have no idea what I'm doing on a day-to-day basis. So why the hell should their opinion have anything to do with it? So when they say, oh, you should say in school, bro, they, they have no idea what the hell you're doing. So how do they know what you should be doing? They have no clue. Yeah. No, so I know. That's, that's the way I see it. It's as if like they're trying to help someone, but they don't know how to help. So you're, they're doing more damage than help. I think it's... Um it's a personal thing as well like i remember when i had a conversation with my dad i was about to say after telling him the story of the coding story of how i figured it out i was about to say i'm like but don't you trust me like don't you see how competent i am i'm not just some like regular kid who's just scratching balls like do you not see me waking up early staying at my desk all day and working 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 like uh, like I don't know. I just I was about to say like, do you not believe in me? Like, do you not see how? Like, do you not see that I'm not capable? And then I realized I'm like, you know what? Like, if I ask that question, yeah, you might say, yeah, I think you're capable to make me feel better. But really, I I personally think that these people that shoot other people down is because in their head they're thinking, well, well I'm not doing what they're doing and. What they're doing meaning means that they're better than me, and I don't think they're better than me. Type thing. Like, I think it's like a personal ego thing. Well, that's uh, that, that that is true, bro. There's there's oh, ambulance. Um, there's people, not people, bro. Like parents, actually. This is how how it is sometimes. It's like you're gonna say, oh. Um, like, I don't know. I need an example now to think of. More like, um, you're doing, let's say you start doing good, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, actually, no. Actually, no. That That's the next stage. But let's say right now, you're in the position that you are in right now. And, like, your dad is, is against it. Not that he's against it, but he'll tell you stay in school, stay in school, stay in school. And oh, okay, if the results are there, then I'll believe you and whatever. But it's almost as if you're saying that he doesn't even want you to get those results. Not because he doesn't like like believe in you. It's because he doesn't believe in himself that he could do that. So he's thinking, why should I believe in my son that he's going to be able to do it? Yeah, exactly. I don't, it's as if like, Let's say, um, I don't know, let's say a day trading. Perfect example, bro. I go up to people and say, like, oh, yeah, I'm a day trader. I'm a day trader. When they say, oh, Mass, you got to be careful with that, you know, uh, does people, they lose money fast with that and whatever. You know why they're saying that? It's because they don't believe that they could make money doing it. It's not because they don't believe that you're going to make money. Fuck no, because there's billionaires that are made from the markets trading. Yeah, it's because they don't believe in themselves and that automatically makes them not believe anybody else around them period yeah like including their family members siblings parents cousins best friends uh, teachers all these things it's it's until like one point they see the results bro and they literally they literally cannot yeah they can't go around it bro. you you can't even lie about not having the results because when you're driving a fucking ferrari bro, you can't lie and say i'm not making money <laughs> they're gonna ask you how'd you get the ferrari if you're not making money literally literally i i was i, I had this saying that i made that i wrote down it says it said keep everything a secret until your action you can't even lie about your actions Meaning that, yeah. bro, if you keep everything a secret, no, I'm not, I'm not uh, like everything, uh, oh, yeah, you know, I'm learning, I'm learning. Yeah, you know, uh, it's uh, consistent, right? Not Nothing crazy. And then, bro, you're driving a fucking uh, Ferrari 458 or Lamborghini or whatever your favorite car, and somebody's going to say, oh, how's it going? You literally can't even tell them anymore. Oh, it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm consistent, whatever. 
they're going to be like, bro, you just bought a fucking Ferrari. What do you mean? You're doing fucking amazing. And then you turn to them and say, hey, I guess I am, aren't I? And you continue going forward. Yeah. And that's when maybe eventually they'll click. But, but with parents, always, they'll, that will always happen with parents. It's usually sometimes with friends, there's envy. And also within your family. I'm not going to say it's your parents, but cousins, aunts, uncles, you know, envy. Well, money changes people. And they'll start telling you what to do with your money. And then you're, you're going to start thinking, well, I, I, I made all this money. They clearly don't have all this money. Why should I listen to their advice when they weren't even able to make this amount? It's like, and then you might start saying things because it gets rowdy and then words cut. So, and, and sometimes those scars never heal. This is that coming directly from my mentor. He was telling me this, telling his whole group. Oh, and it's so true though. But that's, that's more in the future. It is. I th like, but you see it like, you see it every day for examples that when someone else is doing something good, people tend to shit on them because they're mm -hmm. insecure because they're not doing it, right? So it's like you always, like people I'm sure always hear the saying of like, you know, uh, you don't want to go out and drink, right? Because you don't want to drink alcohol. And then you hear them right. like, oh, look at this guy. He doesn't want to drink alcohol. Like those comments there, it's like, because deep down, you know, you should not be doing that. And you're, and, but you're going to do it. And you're trying to shit on someone else because, you know, and that's what I hate. It's because I don't know why, I, I, maybe it's my personality or whatever. I've never shat on someone that's doing something better. Even if I'm not doing it, even if someone wakes up early as fuck four in the morning and they're fucking doing like thousands of push-ups or whatever i'm never that look at this guy he thinks he's a fucking soldier like bro i never said that in my life and i never will like I, i'm always like good bro good for you you know what i should be doing the fucking same hey. but people fucking 100%. the second you're doing something that they they already know deep down intrinsically that it's better like i'm sorry even the fact of uh, not going to school and doing your own thing People deep down already know that's better, but they shit on you because they're not doing it in themselves. They're not taking the jump. And it's kind of like um, uh, insecure, jealousy, ego thing where it's like the, it, it, them shitting on you kind of makes, soothes their ego. Yeah, bro, because at the end, and, and it's almost as if they want to see you fail. Yeah. Because when you succeed, it brings out every single one of their insecurities that they have and they need to face them. And that's why they don't want, people don't want other people to succeed for that reason. That is literally the sole reason. They don't want their insecurities to be shown to them. Yeah. They don't want to have to deal with them. Yeah. So they're going to try to drag you, not drag you down, but try to keep you with them. You've ever had, a, I don't know if you've ever had a friend that, has oh come on come come out come out come out come out oh you're always working oh you're doing this come on mass you you're, you think this is gonna work come on maybe you should just chill out it's like the reason why they're telling you these things and then they bring up memories of how you were in the past that's the worst because then they're trying to <laughs> get you back to who you used to be where it's like i'm i'm a changed person and aren't shouldn't you be happy that i'm a changed person and not want me to go back to the way i was but it's as if, no, 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 no. They want you to go back to the way you were because now they're starting to see their own problems, their own insecurities that they need to deal with, but they don't want to deal with them. So what's the solution there? To get that other person back on the same playing field. And what happens when that other person, me, aka me, who doesn't want to get back on the same playing field? Well, that's when friends separate. No animosity, bro. Hopefully, yeah. no animosity. But I'm just saying, it's like that's when people separate, literally, and that that's how it works. You also see it in the uh, opposite form. Let's say you're starting something, and obviously there's like no results right away. Even the people that say like, "Oh yeah, good for you," you know, it's like they're. I think I, I think Harmozi talked about this where, when. Yeah. Let's say like he was opening up his gym and again, he was taking the leap, but yet there was no results because the results don't come right away. People would be like, yeah, yeah, good for you, whatever. Because in their eyes, the way they see it is he's taking a step back while I'm still staying here. 
So like they actually like, yeah, good for you. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And then once results start and once it like works, then it's like, whoa, no, no. Yeah. Then like, whoa, like, what are you doing? You know, like type thing. And then, then the, where their, their advice changes, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I just feel like it, it, it's so toxic how like humans drag other humans down. I don't know. I, like, like I said, maybe I've done minor things like that in the future that I wasn't aware of. But, bro, I don't think I've ever... I like to believe that I've never dragged someone down with what I say. But, bro, it tends to be a fucking common thing. Like, it's just... Oh, very common. I, it, but it does not make sense to me. I don't know if it's my mindset or whatever. It does not make any sense to me. How could you drag someone down trying to do something better for their life and you drag them down by their, your your words or, or yeah, like you said, bringing up the older version of you. Like, bro, what? Why? What, what the fuck do you have to benefit from that? Like, what's it for you, bro? Like, what's your problem? <laughs> that type of thing. Yeah, no, trust me. I know exactly. Here's another example. Actually, Gary V brought this up one. Here's an example with parents and kids. Uh, now, dude, bro, don't fucking, like, keep in mind, bro, every single family is different. Yeah. S -s Most parents are probably not like this, but I'd like to believe. Maybe it's the minority, but who cares? Anyways. Like, bro, there's parents in the world where if their son was working hard and got a Ferrari and he lives at home and their parents have a Honda... And, their, and his mom has a Nissan, right? And then the son comes home with a Ferrari and he has the Ferrari parked outside in the front. And whenever people come over to the house, it's, oh, your son did this, your son. And it's almost as if now your accomplishments go out the window. I'm talking on the parent's side. And mm -hmm. they start feeling less, less of value. And they take that in the wrong way. And that builds envy and this and that. So... Most of the, not most of the time, but sometimes parents don't want their kids to be doing better than themselves. But that's why at the start of this, I said, it depends the family because there is parents that, of course, they want their kids. Like, for example, my dad, a hundred thousand percent wants me to do better than him. And the same thing for my kids when I have them. But there's some parents, bro, yeah. if they pull up with a Ferrari and they only have BMWs, they're going to be like, oh my God, now people are going to think that, uh, uh, my son is better than me and I'm not good enough and this and like that all those thoughts end up arising. For those parents I would have to say that it's like that they're fucked up. No, it's just again, I think bro, ego is the worst thing in this world. It's literally the devil. Ever since I got really into religion I really realized that how bad ego is. And that's purely your ego for to the to, literally to the degree where your own kid is doing better than you and instead of viewing it as wow that's absolutely fucking amazing because this is my kid i brought him up i i i taught him you know the basics of life like i grew him i nurtured him i i taught him lessons and look how he became seven viewing it like that they just see him as another regular person you know the uh, hit me to him type thing and he's doing better than me, and I'm not. That sucks. And like you fucking, you rip him for that. I, I don't know. I agree. It's um, human nature. It's inevitable for people to be envy and drag you down. So it's just another part of the journey that we have to overcome. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, um, you know. Uh, Everyone else's opinions but yours doesn't matter. Even though it could be the closest person, like a parent or a close friend. At the end of the day, your opinion is the only one that matters. So 